Okay, I'm going to be showing you what nichrome wire is. It's just this really hair thin wire. It's a uh, nickel and chrome mixed. Um, this is 40 AWG, which is that's the thickness of the wire. This is like uh, 40 is really, really thin, like I said, hair thin. Um, well, how this works is it's highly resistant metal, which means the more, or as electricity goes through it, it will um, resist the electricity and therefore it will heat up. And uh, depending on how many volts you use and how long the wire is, so let's say I've got a really long wire but like only three or four volts, uh, it would not heat up at all. But say uh, six volts, it needs about one centimeter. No, no, I'd say half a centimeter and it will heat up red hot. I'm using a 9 volt battery and uh, about centimeter and a half maybe of nichrome wire and uh, just some normal wire to connect it all together and here's what happens. Oh, epic fail, nothing happened. Um, There we go. Oh, oh god, yeah, you see it overheats and breaks really easily. And um, so you can just go buy this. Uh, $8 for 100 feet of this stuff, it's awesome. Just used it to make my e matches and all sorts of stuff. So basically, with this stuff, as long as you can make a circuit, you know, you've learned how to do that in school, hopefully. As long as you can do that, you can uh, make an e match or anything out of this wire. You know, just take some um, cannon fuse, just wrap the nichrome wire around it, then connect it to a 9 volt or, you know pretty cool it's how it's what i use to make all my stuff so go out and buy some it's really cool fun to experiment with